I'm Shanna and I'm Gabby and we are 27 Travels and we're probably in the most LGBTQ friendly place on earth right now, Provincetown. <laughs> Provincetown is a beach town in Massachusetts. It's all the way at the eastern tip on the Cape, but it's probably, yeah, the most LGBTQ friendly place that we've ever been. Yesterday we were walking around, kind of getting like the feel of a place. We like to do that on like the first day. <laughs> yeah, get so like we the know. lay of the land, kind of yeah. feel like where do we want to go back. <laughs> exactly. So while we were exploring, we found these rainbow masks, which we so for some reason have never had rainbow masks before. Yeah, and we thought they were cool, so we were like, we're gonna get matching rainbow masks <laughs> right now. <laughs> so rainbow masks, check. We came to the Pilgrim Monument, which is one of the most historical things you could do in Provincetown, but it's really, really cool actually, at least we think so, because we really, really like history. The Pilgrim Monument is here because this is where the Pilgrims actually first landed. So if you guys know American history, you would know that the Mayflower was like the first ship that sailed from Europe to the United States when they were gonna settle here. And we know that they actually settled in Plymouth, Massachusetts first, but they actually stopped in Provincetown before they settled in Plymouth. So this is technically the first place that they discovered. How cool is that? Shanna and I actually did not know that at all, that they landed here first. No, we didn't know that, because like in school you're just taught that, oh yeah, Plymouth was the first, like, you know, where the settlers first landed and stuff. But yeah, it's really, really interesting. And it's really cool that like we're in the spot where like in like 1620, they landed here first. There is a museum here, but I think we came a little bit too early, so it's not open yet, but we kind of already saw the monument. So I think that's good enough for us. <laughs> <laughs> down Commercial Street which is basically like the main street in Provincetown. This town is super super walkable. You can pretty much walk anywhere. I feel like if you have a car you could probably just park it for the weekend and then just walk everywhere. Yeah that's kind of what we've been doing while we're here. I mean we've been walking everywhere and everything is so close by and there's just so many good places to go to. Yeah on Commercial Street you can find a bunch of shops, restaurants, hotels, pretty much anything is here. <laughs> but that's because we are at Macmillan Pier right now because we are doing something super exciting that we've never done before. So we are actually going sailing today on a sailboat. Whoa. We've never done that, so it's something that we're really excited to do. And we basically already took our motion sickness pills and we're ready to go, so hope we don't get sick, but really excited. And we are going sailing with Moment Sailing and we cannot wait to do this for the first time ever. gave us this hat too and a few t-shirts. He was say. so nice. Him and Chadwick who were like, he is the owner of Moment Sailing and Chadwick was the captain. They were so nice. Took us on like such an amazing sailing tour and it was our first time sailing. We had the best time ever. Yeah, they were telling us all about the boat and like the different sailing conditions in this area and it's just, it just was so much fun. We would 100% do that again. So if you guys are ever in P-Town, you have to come to Moment Sailing and do a sail with them. It is so amazing, so 
much fun and definitely worth it. staying at the Rose and Crown in P-Town, which we found out when we got here is a lesbian owned B&B, which we absolutely love. We love supporting lesbian businesses anywhere we go. Yeah, it's literally the cutest place ever too. The style of it is so cool. It's very like, kind of like medieval-y. Yeah, um, I, I feel don't like really we're know. in a castle kind yeah. of. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like from like the 18 or 1700s. It's really, really cool. Very, very different. And Anne and her wife Laura own and they were so nice helping us like to, like with our bags and parking and everything. So thank you guys so much for hosting us here. We love it so far. Yeah, I could not recommend coming here more. This hotel is super cool. <laughs> earlier, P-Town is one of the most LGBTQ friendly destinations in the world and the reason for that is because back in the 60s after the Stonewall riots and the gay rights movement, P-Town actually decided that they wanted to market to the LGBTQ community so a lot of people started coming here and ever since then it's just been like an LGBTQ haven. Another super interesting fact is that drag performances in the United States actually started here in P-Town which is so cool. That is so cool. Definitely if you're in P-Town after COVID make sure you go see a drag performance. <laughs> I have to recommend that. But yeah we've just been walking down the streets like the last like 24 hours and there's just like so many rainbow flags so many inclusive signs in restaurants hotels shops like we just feel super comfortable here like we don't even have to think about holding hands here like we just can naturally do it there's so many other um, same-sex couples doing it as well so we just feel really really comfortable here <laughs> up at the club that's where we had lunch today and it's actually owned by Leah Delaria who is um, one of the actresses in Orange is the New Black and we've been wanting to go to her bar for a while because we saw one of our friends Ravi who has been here before told us about it and he was like it's amazing you need to go so we went and we had the most amazing vegan food and drinks and it was just awesome yeah and it was <laughs> nice their patio is like by the water it's beautiful and the food was so good so it was perfect <laughs> the Provincetown Art Association and Museum. And when we go to like a new city or a new town or something, one of our favorite things to do is to um, go to the art museum because we, we feel like it's a really good way to kind of like see the culture of a place basically. So pretty much everywhere we go as long as it's possible, we try and do it. Provincetown is actually known as a town for artists. It has the oldest continuous art colony in America, which is so cool. One of the waitresses at the club, which we were at for lunch earlier today was telling us that because she asked us like what we were doing for the day and we told her we were coming here and she was saying that like it's um it's a really good place for artists because the light is so good here because it like um it were on like a peninsula kind of thing so yeah that was like really really interesting we thought and really really cool yeah and the light here is literally beautiful all the time <laughs> <laughs> to Liz's Cafe for breakfast. I saw online that they have a tofu scramble option which looks so good so I cannot wait to try it. Yeah, I really need some coffee. It's a little bit <laughs> early. <laughs> and it's a little cold too it's so we cold. need like hand warming coffee. Yeah, we need to warm our hands. <laughs> last day in P-Town today and we're trying to finish up doing as much as we possibly can because we were only here for the weekend. Yeah, um, it felt really short you, like so we feel like we definitely have to come back one day but we still did a lot for sure. Yeah <laughs> but uh, one thing we just wanted to mention is because we did come during COVID um, a lot of things were operating a little bit differently so P-Town is like really known for having really good nightlife especially in the LGBTQ community um, but a lot of the bars obviously could not do that during COVID so um, we didn't get to really experience like the full like 
feel of it but obviously we totally understand why yeah um, but we still got some of it we saw a lot of people having happy hours getting brunch. like drinks by the water <laughs> brunch just hanging out at their hotels together which is really cool We have to leave P-Town now. We're so sad. We're so sad. We loved it here. It was such an awesome, welcoming place, and it was just so walkable. We walked everywhere, and it was so fun. It was probably the most accepting and LGBTQ-friendly place that we've ever been, and we definitely need to come back. I can't believe we've never been before. So it's really close to New York City. It's only, only like a five and a half hour drive. So we will definitely be coming back P-Town. We loved it here. And we also have to thank the P-Town Tourism Board for hooking us up this weekend. Um, we did so many amazing adventures with them. We did the sailing, and we went to the museum, and everything. So thank you guys so much for everything. We love it here and you will be seeing us again oh, for sure. Definitely. I mean, P-Town is literally right on the beach. So we're definitely going to have to come back when it's a little warmer and actually go swim. And we thought it would be appropriate to close out this video in front of the oldest gay bar in P-Town and one of the oldest in the United States, A House. We didn't get a chance to go um, this trip because we were so busy running around trying to do everything. But, you know, there's always a next time. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> the first place we're coming back to when we come back. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.